Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandler Knowles Best and today's video is going to be my experience with the 22 hour fast. I am really sorry I'm not consistent. I feel like I say this throughout every video I make. I know I'm trying to stay on top of my YouTube routine, but your girl's got a life. I can't keep uploading every week. So long story short, I'm going to try to upload every two weeks. Um, and we'll see how that goes, but let's get straight to the point. As you can tell by the title, I have been doing a 22 hour fast for probably the past month and let's just say I've noticed a lot of different things about my body and I love it. You guys may have seen my previous video on the fasting, on my fasting experience. I did a three day dry fast. Um, if you would like to check that out, please do upload the link in the description below and it'll give you more of an overview on what fasting is and what the benefits are. Today I'm going to be explaining the changes that I've seen in my body and the benefits of what I am doing. First things first, let me explain what the 22 hour fast is before we get in depth here. Basically this 22 hour fast is basically fasting for 22 hours. I can still have things like water and coffee for 22 hours, but I can't have anything with calories. So basically what I do is I eat between the times of 12 o'clock p.m. and 2 p.m. And the cool thing about this guys is I can eat whatever I want. Literally one day I had like a turkey club, I got like a couple of danishes from Starbucks and I had some like a white chocolate mocha. Um, I'll go off to like Chipotle or I'll go to Zoop which is one of my favorite places and I just pig out every single day. That doesn't sound healthy but I never said that this was a healthy channel, I never said this video was going to be on how to be healthy. It's on how to boost your metabolism and there are several actually, there are several health benefits to fasting even though my diet isn't exactly healthy. So if you were expecting me to talk about how to be healthy then you should probably go to a different video. But if you are someone who has poor eating habits, a great way to bypass all those problems and to help improve your eating habits is to start fasting because I've started to notice a couple of different things about my appetite, about my taste in certain foods because I've been fasting. And keep in mind guys, this is coming from someone who has had poor eating habits their whole life. I mean, I'm basically a sugar addict. And I've noticed a lot of differences from doing this fast. Like I said, I eat between noon and 2 p.m., but you can do this whenever, like whenever throughout the day. You can do between four and six. My sister did, I think, between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. because she doesn't like going to bed hungry. So she did it at nighttime and didn't eat throughout the day. But she would eat a huge meal so that she wouldn't be hungry for a while. The biggest change that I've seen is that I'm way less hungry. I'm not as hungry throughout the day. I'm literally only hungry at noon. I think my body has adjusted to wanting to eat at that time. I've always did a 12 to 8 fast. That's usually when I used to eat. Now I'm 12 to 2, so I always get hungry at uh, 12 o'clock for sure. But then after I eat that big meal throughout the rest of the day, I'm not hungry until tomorrow at 12 again. So that's really cool. I'm not having a bunch of cravings. I'm not as hungry. It's awesome. For two. One day I decided to binge eat, and that sounds like a very stupid choice, but I remember it was a Thursday, and I've been doing this fasting routine for a very long time, so I figured why not cheat. Me and my sister went to Applebee's, and I got their, uh, it's like a bacon, chicken, mac and cheese, it's my favorite. Um, and then I, just, I wasn't hungry and decided to order a dessert, which was their chocolate lava cake with ice cream. Let me tell you, oh, I forgot to bring up. I also had their appetizer, which included chicken quesadillas and mozzarella sticks, and like uh, chips and artichoke dip or whatever, the cheese dip spinach thing Ugh, was so good. My stomach was hurting so bad when I did this. Keep in mind, the old Chandler could eat all of that no problem, and I would eat again in like an hour. This Chandler, her body rejected that. Like I didn't want to, I, I just didn't even like the idea of food at that time. My stomach hurt so bad. I didn't finish it all, but basically like, my body doesn't even take in as much food in the first place anymore is what I'm trying to say, which is completely awesome to me. So not only am I less hungry, but I don't even consume as much food in the first place. There's less binging. My third thing is, is I don't crave sugar as much. And like I said earlier, I'm pretty much a sugar addict. I love sweet, I just love sweets. My favorite food is literally ice cream. When somebody asks me what my favorite food is, I always say ice cream. And they're like, that's not a food. I'm like, yeah, it is. I don't really take too much interest in that stuff anymore. I still eat it. I can still eat it. And because I eat in such a small time frame and I can eat whatever I want, there are days where I will, like I said, go get a cheese danish from Starbucks. It's like one of my favorite things as well. Um, but I eat a lot less of that stuff. Some of that obviously has to do with the fact that I'm eating in such a small time window, but um, I take less interest in those things as well, which is really cool. Like I barely, every time I go to a restaurant or something, I always look at the dessert menu first and I, that sounds horrible, but that's something I just love sweets. So I would always go straight to the dessert menu. Now I barely do that anymore, just without even realizing it. 
Another cool thing is that food isn't even on my mind as much. I have other things to do throughout the day, so I focus on my tasks more than my food. And it used to be the other way around, and I think people make food more of a priority than what it really is. Um, something my dad said is that, you know, food is supposed to be used as fuel, not as something to enjoy. I mean, sure, it's good to have a nice bowl of ice cream, or it's nice to have some pizza, and it's good to spoil yourself every now and then, but just keep in mind that that's not really what it's for. It's not for enjoyment, it's for survival, it's for fuel. And I think that's what my body is realizing, so sometimes I don't really care about what's going in my mouth as long as I have food. You know, that sounded wrong. Like, I don't mind eating a salad and just some soup or just a quick sandwich and then going about my day. I don't have to have a slice of pizza. I don't have to have a huge dessert to be happy. Last thing I have for you guys today, which is probably what you guys are waiting for, is the weight loss. You will lose weight. And keep in mind, like I said earlier, you can literally eat whatever you want, which is crazy. I mean, like, you can have a legit Thanksgiving dinner and lose weight from this because you aren't eating for 22 hours. It allows your body to break things down a lot faster. I don't know too much about the science behind it, guys, but oh my god, it works. And I made several clips of videos that show proof that you will lose weight from doing this. So I will show you guys some clips that show proof of um, my weight when I first started compared to when I, um, after I started this fast. I've been doing this for about a month now, and right now I'm at 127, and I started off as 134, I believe. Now I'm pretty much just trying to maintain at this point. My goal is to get to 125, so I'm still doing this. Um, I actually just got into Muay Thai as well, which is like boxing, it's like kickboxing almost. So um, I'm probably going to lose a lot more weight now. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much very close to my goal weight because of this, uh, this new eating regimen, so I would highly, highly recommend it. So I am nearly complete with my first day of doing this. It is Monday, I think it's like, but it's 8.43 o'clock p.m. And all I ate today was a sandwich and tomato basil soup from Zoop. Great restaurant. Um, I am actually really, really hungry. I ended up exercising today too. Um, funny thing is my job has a gym in it, so um, I'm thinking about getting a membership there. I did a really hardcore hit training class with one of my coworkers today. And, um, yeah, I pretty much only ate one meal, did a nice workout, I am very hungry right now, but, um, I know I'm gonna be able to eat at, uh, noon tomorrow, it's really not a big deal. So this is my first day, I got through it, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning, and we'll get through the next. Good morning, everyone, it's my second day of the 22-hour fast, and I'm feeling really good, I'm not hungry at all. What's crazy is I was hungry the night before, and, um... I guess when you actually get some sleep and you wake up the next morning, you don't really feel that same type of hunger. I'm not hungry at all. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to eat today. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday morning and I am on my third day, I believe, of the 22 hour fast. I feel really great right now, I am not as hungry, however last night I was super super hungry of course, I think it's going to be like that for the next two days. Um, so far I have lost two pounds, so that is great, I haven't weighed myself this morning, but so far this is going as planned, I am losing the weight and I can eat whatever I want within a two hour time span. Now I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to eat today before I go to work. So I wanted to mention to you guys before I go to work that I will not be packing my lunch today. I actually decided I'm going to get Chipotle today. I'm going to get a giant ass burrito and I'm probably going to eat a protein bar as well as some mango. I might even stop at the Starbucks at my work and get like a pastry or something. Who knows? Because you can eat whatever you want when you are doing this fast. So. I guess I'm just going to prove to you guys that I can have a big burrito and not gain any weight. Hey guys, it is Thursday and I just got off work. It is 8.30 right now. I am super, super tired. To be honest with you guys, I've been a lot less hungry today than I usually am. Um, 
It almost seems like I'm super hungry at nighttime when I do these things. I usually eat, like I said, at from noon to two, and then I start to get hungry at night. Today, I'm honestly not that hungry. I didn't eat as much. When I do these quick fasts where I can only eat in a small time frame, I usually like to eat as much as I can, and today, I honestly didn't even eat that much. Um, I got a bowl of chili and some sushi, like, you know, those sushi packs or whatever that you can get from the store. Um, I also had some peanut butter cookies, but I couldn't even finish the chili. Like, I had, like, I guess half a bowl of chili, uh, I'd say three of the sushi, three or four of the sushis, um, because they come in like eight or whatever, and then I had two peanut butter cookies and some coffee, and that's it, that's honestly, that's, that's it, so I haven't been eating as much, um, yeah, so basically I can feel a change in my appetite, even usually when I do these, like I, like I said, I start from 12 to 2. I get excited when noon comes because I know that that's, that's when I can eat and today I honestly wasn't in any rush or in any hurry to eat. I don't know what it was so that's that's kind of a different feeling. Um, I felt a little bit weak in a way but I just didn't have any desire to eat either so I think my body is probably like transitioning or something and getting used to this diet change. I don't. I really don't know. Hi everyone, I completely forgot to give my update yesterday, but I have some really bad news. I ended up cheating. I ate past 2 o'clock, I went to the movies with my sister and I couldn't help it but get like Culver's, we stopped at Culver's, it's a fast food restaurant and I ate ice cream and a crispy chicken sandwich. But the good news is I am not just doing 5 days like I originally planned, I am actually going to be doing technically 10. So I'm also going to do this Monday through Friday as well. Also, I'm going to go to weigh myself because um, I want to show you guys the results that I have so far. So because I ate like total crap past my fasting, you guys would assume that I would probably gain a lot of that weight back, which honestly isn't the case. Let's find out. And I have clothes on, so I'd take away like a half a pound. When I weigh myself, I usually don't have clothes on, but this time I do, because I have to go somewhere. So it says 129 points, you take away like a pound, and that's 128.2, 128.2 something is how much I weigh right now, meaning I didn't gain any weight back after eating all the stuff that I ate yesterday, which is a good sign. The cool thing about fasting, going on a fasting diet, um, you don't gain all that weight back immediately because your metabolism is going really fast. You are constantly burning. And um, when you do things like low carbing and stuff like that, it is a little bit easier to gain that weight back. Generally, you don't gain all your weight back from low carbing as long as you maintain what you're eating. But as somebody who's really horrible at maintaining what they eat, I think fasting is a better route. Hi, everyone. It is Monday morning, and the weekend is finally over with. I ate like total crap. I will weigh myself when I get back to work. Today, I'm going to be taking a jujitsu class, so I'll let you guys know how much I weigh by the end of the day today. But basically, I just ate between 12 to 8 o'clock p.m. over the weekend, and today I'm going to start doing the 12 to 2 fast from Monday through Friday. Um, it is 4th of July this week, so I might do a 12 to 8 that day, but um, we'll see when we get there. Hey guys, just giving my daily update. I know, I look like crap right now. When I got off work, I was actually supposed to go to a jujitsu ju class, but I decided to say screw it and get a tattoo instead, so yeah. Sometimes I just make random plans like these. I'm always like a very spontaneous person, so sometimes I'll just randomly get a tattoo without even planning it ahead of time. I got this one probably like a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, yeah, I'm weird, and I honestly regret a couple of my tattoos, and I plan on getting them removed, but that's irrelevant. So I haven't weighed myself yet, and I'm here to show you guys how much I weigh right now. As you guys know, I did not diet this weekend. I ate between 12 and 8, so who knows, maybe I gained some weight back. So basically, I wouldn't expect to see a lower number than what you guys saw on Friday because um, I wasn't doing the hardcore fast like I am now. So let's go see how much I weigh. Hi everybody, I just got back from work. It is, what day? Tuesday. 
is Tuesday, the day before 4th of July. Tomorrow I am literally going to be throwing down. So to be honest, I might even gain a pound back or two because on holidays, I don't play any games. So I'm just gonna weigh myself to show you guys how much I'm weighing today. Um, I think I lost a little bit. Let's see. Okay. So right now I'm 130 pounds sharp. Yesterday I was, uh, I think 130.8, 6, something like that. So I lost a little bit of weight. That is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn more about what fasting really is, not only intermittent fasting where you eat in a certain time frame, but um, like dry fasting, water fasting, soft dry fasting. There's so many different kinds that you can do that depend on the person. Um, watch my oldest videos, one of, not my oldest video, one of my previous videos on what fasting is and if it's beneficial. It's about how it's actually detoxifying, how it can cure things like Fasting is probably one of the best choices a human can make because we're technically supposed to be doing that anyways and that's how humans were eventually, uh, or before. Um, humans started off eating just like one big, big meal, they would go hunting, and then who knows for how long they would go without eating, but they didn't have a full-fledged breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's just not realistic. We're not supposed to be that way. So when you go from eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner and all these processed foods to literally giving your body the foods that it needs on top of that eating in the right time frame, you will start to notice a lot of differences and you will become the person you are truly supposed to be which is really cool. So I recommend it. Try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.